I'm Jasmine Anderson. The morning continues today. Final farewells for the beloved Farmingdale band director killed in that tragic bus crash upstate. You'll witness a sea of green in honor of Gina Pelletieri today in Massapequa Park. The services will be live streamed for those who cannot attend. Hundreds of community members gathered yesterday to say goodbye to the woman affectionately known as the grandmother of Farmingdale's marching band program. There was a funeral for Beatrice Ferrari, who was also killed in the upstate crash last week. We all talked about how happy was such a pillar of the community. She never missed anything, anything that had to do with the music community in the school. She never missed a single band camp. Three students and one adult remain hospitalized one week after a charter bus carrying 40 members of the school's band and four adults crashed into Orange County. The Farmingdale High School football team is adding this new decal to its helmets. Take a look to honor those affected by the deadly crash. The team plays at Port Washington Saturday. New this morning, migrants who came to New York in the current crisis could soon be housed here on Long Island. The eligibility for Venezuelan asylum seekers was unlocked last week when the Biden administration extended TPS to them. In New York, the designation means being able to seek welfare and homeless shelters anywhere statewide. Neither Nassau nor Suffolk spokespersons would answer specific questions about the issue when we reached out. Lack of social interaction during the pandemic is impacting our mental health. That's according to a national survey released this week. Local health experts tell us it confirms what they've known, an association between greater levels of depression and social isolation during the COVID-19 shutdown. Countdown to a government shutdown. If Congress does not pass a spending bill by midnight Saturday, the federal government will be forced to shut down. That will leave about 46,000 federal workers on Long Island in financial limbo and cause widespread disruptions in federal services, among other things, it would mean longer wait times at airports and shuttered facilities at national parks such as Sagamore Hill. Read more about the looming shutdown and the impact locally on Newsday.com. Click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. In the race for the White House, the second presidential debate is now in the books. Two of the seven candidates trailing Trump in the polls took aim at the absent front runner. Donald Trump is missing in action. He should be on this stage tonight. He owes it to you to defend his record. And Donald Trump should be here to answer for that, but he's not. And I want to look at that camera right now and tell you, Donald, I know you're watching. You can't help yourself. I know you're watching, okay? And you're not here tonight, not because of polls and not because of your indictments. You're not here tonight because you're afraid. The candidates also attacked each other and President Joe Biden at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley, California. Trump was in the battleground state of Michigan at a rally outside Detroit with striking auto workers. You know, we're competing with the job candidates. They're all running for a job. No, they're all job candidates. They want to be in the, uh, they want to they'll do anything. Secretary of something. They even say VP. I don't know. Does anybody see any VP in the group? I don't think so. Trump tried to win over blue collar voters by blasting President Biden in his push for electric cars in the midst of an auto worker strike. Emergency repairs now set for the Huntington LIRR parking garage. The town board has authorized more than $100,000 to repair the fourth level of the South parking garage. It comes after outside engineers found structural safety issues at the facility. Tickets might be harder to get for this Sunday night's Jets game, all thanks to Taylor Swift's presence. After attending Kansas City's Week 3 game, the pop star plans to be at MetLife to support Travis Kelsey, who she's rumored to be dating. That's according to a report from FrontOfficeSports.com. There's been no comment about the report from Swift. The boss is now hitting the brakes on his tour. The rest of the Bruce Springsteen's 2023 tour will be postponed. A statement from the band says the 74-year-old is recovering from peptic ulcer disease and out of an abundance of caution, what's left of the tour has been pushed back to next year.
Still, no winner in the Powerball. The jackpot is now close to a billion dollars again. At least $925 million is up for grabs Saturday. It's the fourth largest prize in the game's history. Someone in our state did hit for a million dollars last night. Here are the numbers, the winning numbers, 1746 47, 63, 7. Check your tickets. Checking out your hyperlocal Thursday forecast. Dry this morning, increasing clouds, highs around 66 degrees. Some showers on the way for this late afternoon and evening. Tomorrow, rain continues with highs around 65 degrees. And here's a look at your future cast. Rain begins uh, this afternoon, so make sure you grab an umbrella. We thought we were out the woods, but not quite yet. A look at your seven day forecast coming up. Watch Newsday TV on the big screen. Use the remote to activate Siri, Alexa, Roku, or the Google Assistant on your streaming device. Say, install Newsday. Newsday TV, covering Long Island like no one else can. The Long Island Medium is launching a new show. Elisa DiStefano spoke with Teresa Caputo in a story you'll see only in Newsday. You have to get used to having cameras in your house again. <laughs> it's so natural for me. It's the weirdest thing, but like having a camera, it's just like, it's just another day here at the uh, Caputo house. It's like they never left. He's duly departed, correct? Filming has begun for Teresa Caputo's new TV show on Lifetime, titled Teresa Caputo Raising Spirits. It's a new show. It's, listen, at the end of the day, Elisa, I still talk to Dick. <laughs> I said, Teresa, there was something deep in my soul that knew that I wasn't gonna live a long life. I feel like if it was one word to describe how the show is different, it's intimate. Yeah. It's more behind the scenes of really seeing like how I really do interact with my crew, how my crew is what goes on on a daily basis. And for Lifetime wanting to show that part, um, I just think is really, really special. I'm still in the same house. I still live next door to my parents. I haven't gone anywhere. I mean, look, I'm a grandma. I mean, that's different. Yeah. <laughs> You'll also see Teresa's life on the road as she travels on tour doing live shows. You've been touring for 10 years. Crazy. <laughs> um, and every year your tour brings you back home. To always end the year on such a, a beautiful high note, mm -hmm. but at the Paramount is amazing. See Teresa at the Paramount December 6th and 7th and back on TV right after the new year. How many people get a television show, mm -hmm. first of all. And then True. to be on TV for 10 years, and then to be approached to still do what I do and not ask me to change a thing and allow me to continue to be me is an opportunity of a lifetime. What I do is so much more than just communicating with people that have died. It really, truly raises our spirits. Mm -hmm. Thank you for doing what you do, and we're always so happy to have you home. It's always so great to be in your home. Yes. I mean, even after and all these years, you're still coming to my house. <laughs> Elisa DiStefano, Newsday TV. Read more about Teresa's new show on Newsday.com. Click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. A new way to eat out. We're getting a sneak peek at an immersive 3D dining experience on the island. It's a story you'll see only in Newsday. It's something that we've been thinking about doing and someone brought the animation part to us. So it kind of creates a whole storyline. And the story is based on two characters and Naya and Ed. And the food is surrounded by different segments of the show. So it's really kind of a cool animation, uh, food kind of experience. The animation part of it will be actually on the table. Uh, it's three-dimensional, it's got a really cool vibe to it, and there's always something spinning, turning, rolling. It's very uh, animation submersive. The interaction is fantastic. I'm amazed at, at, at the graphics. The, the three-dimensional thing that caught my eye, really. It's, you know, you see the characters in the, uh, in, in the table, on top of the table, where do they come from? 
and you can see that like, they're almost coming from underneath the table. It's fantastic. I think the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway is that food can be great, fun, and you can add elements to your experience to elevate it. It's something that my, one of my partners and I have been talking about doing um, at 317 for years, and this is like the first step for us. So it really gives us a good leg into where we want to go with it and what we want to do and how we want to execute it. Read more about the 3D immersive dining experience on Newsday.com. Click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. What's Up on Long Island is brought to you by PC Richard & Son. It's Friday Eve, so let's talk about the weekend. Here's what's up on Long Island. Oktoberfest in the Beer Garden celebrates German culture with traditional music, dancing, food, and beer. It's Saturday at Platt Deutsch Park Beer Garden in Franklin Square. Check out some preseason hockey. The New York Rangers take on the New York Islanders. The puck drops at 7 p.m. tomorrow night at UBS Arena. Circus Vasquez is coming to Huntington Station. See high-flying acrobats and juggling acts, clowns, and much, much more all weekend at the Walt Whitman Shops. For admission info and more events, click Get More below the Newsday TV video box on our homepage. Working in journalism, I think you experience the world in a really different way than people in other professions do. I find it very satisfying to learn about things and get to tell other people about them. Newsday, covering Long Island like no one else can. I'm Jasmine Anderson. Thanks for watching. We'll leave you with a look at your hyperlocal seven-day forecast.